Welcome back to Del Boy's Garage. Now I've been asked by a couple of you, my friend Sally and a few others, just to do a little walk round of Project Bandit. So here we go. This is the project so far. It's kind of a rolling shed, really. Rolling project. Nothing too serious. It's just a cheap old bike. Just kind of taking stock of a few of the jobs that we've done. Stubby can. Rubbed it all down, that was quite a few videos, getting all the paint scuffed up, rubbed off. Bodywork, frame, engine, wheels. And that's all seasoning in quite nicely. So you're rubbing the paint off the wheels first, then putting the aerosol can black on, then it chips off with time. All this chippage, this is all from the paddock stand. Scratchage, kind of looks quite cool. It's the whole rat ethos. Looks decayed and a bit knackered out. This kind of shiny black's gonna have to season in quite a lot. Yeah, it's a long way from being right. Don't like that at all. But the powdery, chalky matte black is a little bit too far. I want it actually satin, but weathered. And the weather is the only thing that can do that. Can't contrive that. So just recounting the jobs. Paint work, painting it all black. There's five or six tins of satin black on it now. Crash bars, and then caging them in. The daft idea with the chains, which still may yet get cut off, not so sure. Looks a bit silly for now, quite happy with that. It's not irritating me, so it'll stay. Seat cover, that was an afternoon's messing about. Backlight, working cool, good piece of kit. And it's completely legal, because it has a number plate light. Aerosol can, breather, it does fill up with water. It wasn't rain water, because I now put the sponge in. And that gets about an inch of water in the bottom, about every 200 miles. Condensation. Don't need it burning through your motor. That's why you get steam coming out your exhaust in the morning. Water vapour. When it's not going through the engine, it just collects in there. Harley gaiters. Off the old iron. Get a bit of something for keepsake. Badges off of Mrs. Delboy's Harley. Only because Monkey Boy here screwed them on too tight and cracked them. I've put them on this. Painting the screen, that was another little vid. Bars, Renthals, bar weights. <laughs> one pound 39 Renthal, uh, copy imitation rule plugs. Bar mirror, put the brace across. And these have worked, just a quickie update on yesterday's video. These bar weights make a massive difference. There's far less vibration through the bars, the bike feels smoother. And in long bends when you flick it through, it just sits smoothly, it doesn't have this jiggly that it used to have. So there we go. And I just want to make a mention to my mate Milo. Milo Garage over there in California. He's got a Yamaha Seeker XJ750 Rat, which is pretty cool. It seems to eat throttle cables, which is cool because you don't even know if you're going to get home. <laughs> and that's what Rat's all about. Make do and mend. Look on the side of the road when you break down, find a lolly stick. It'll get you home. So cheers Milo, thanks for the inspiration buddy, love your videos. Now my inspiration for a lot of this is my favourite website, UXB. Give them a look, go on the gallery, go on dark side and there are just hundreds and hundreds of pictures of rat bikes. All inspiration, some are all chopped at the back, no body work, rat stuff. Slam seats, ape hangers, all sorts of wild stuff. Me, this is just basically a bandit, stealthed up, dafted up with a little bit of welded steel here and there. It's just a bit of fun. It will evolve. You can't make a rat bike. It has to evolve. It has to turn into it naturally. But there it is. Loads of little mini projects and they will continue. I want to get some paint work going on. I want some nuclear signs, a little bit of white primer, sort of matte white dusted on or yellow. Uh, got some ideas for air horns, trying to find some train horns, <laughs> but you can't run train horns without a compressor the size of Hampshire, so that ain't gonna happen. So, there we are, as requested, a walk round of the Bandit project so far. It's looking cool, stubby can sounds the biz. Everything's wearing quite nice, everything's seasoning in quite nice. And as we can see, this doesn't get any weather on it, so it's still shiny, shiny. But this, 
This is weathering in lovely. It's all getting scuzzy and horrid. So as time goes on, the wonderful coming British winter is going to make this look like a proper junk pile. Can't wait. Yeehaw. So there we go. That's the project so far. Thanks for tuning in and watching Del Boy's Garage. Remember to check out Milo Garage and UXB. Take it all folks. Cheers Sal. See you next time, ride safe.